Michael Obara University of Agriculture, originally the Federal University of Agriculture, is a federal university in Umudike, Abu State, Nigeria, established as a specialized university by a federal government of Nigeria Decree No. 48 of November 1992. It began formal activities on the 27th of May 1993 with a motto, Knowledge, Food and Security. The first set of students was admitted into the university during the 1993-1994 academic year with a total population of 82. Michael Okbara University of Agriculture Mudike, also known as Muayu, is located in the Agricultural Training and Research City of Umudike, about 10 kilometers from Umwahia, capital of Abia State, Southeast Nigeria. The vision of the university is, among others, to be the foremost institution for producing high-rated graduates in agriculture, science and technology, and to be a vehicle for the attainment of the primary goals of the national agricultural policy and self-sufficiency in food and fiber production. Her mission is to provide high quality practical training to students to become professionally competent and confident persons capable of self-employment to develop environment-friendly and people-sensitive technologies and to enable the well-being of the people through extension and other interventions. Since the establishment of the university in 1993, four vice-chancellors have steered the ship of the Citadel of Learning located in the southeast of Nigeria. The vice-chancellors include Professor Placid Njoko, who served between 1993 and 1999. He was succeeded by Professor Obonaya Onwudike, who served from January 2000 to February 2006. Professor Ikena Onyido took over and served from March 2006 to February 2011. Great achievers and leaders are known not only by their words but by their indelible footprints on the sand and landscape of time and places they pass through. Professor Hilary Odo Edoga is unarguably one of the great leaders. This is because he bequeathed to Michael Opera University of Agriculture, Umudike, an uncommon and positive change ever experienced by the institution since her inception. <laughs> Professor Hilary Odo Edoga took over the mantle of leadership from 2011 after he was meritoriously appointed the fourth vice chancellor, Moayu. He holds BSc, MSc, PhD in Botany, and became a professor of plant taxonomy and cytogenetic at the age of 41. He has served in various capacities, including as Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture and Natural Resources, Enugu State. Senior Research Advisor, Shell Petroleum Development Company, Nigeria Limited, Portakot. Deputy Vice Chancellor, Michael Opera University of Agriculture, Rumudike. Dean of Postgraduate School, Muayu. Head of Department of Biological Sciences, Michael Opera University of Agriculture, Umudike. Professor Edoga has over 120 publications, including journals, books, technical papers, and reports. He has successfully supervised several students at the undergraduate, master's, and doctorate levels. Also armed with a great wealth of academic and administrative experience and as one of the outstanding pioneer academic staff of the university and with a vision to re-engineer Moyu, he settled down with a vantage for excellent performance. This academic icon in his inaugural speech made it clear that he will take creative administrative and other far-reaching measures to place Muayu on the global map 
through improvement of the welfare of the staff and students, rapid infrastructural development, and sound extension services. Uh, my name is Professor Hilary Odeidoga. I was born to the family of uh, Chief and uh, Mrs. Uh, Manuel Edogo Genes uh, of Amede uh, Village, Ham um, Fisusa local government area in the year 1960, to be precise, 28th November. I'm uh, currently the Vice Chancellor of this university. I attended the University of Patakot and uh, I'm married to Georgina Bizube, a dog, a marriage blessed with uh, three lovely children, Izuchuku, Nenna, and Ogonna. Actually, I have been a part of this uh, system, uh, so to say, the part of this university. Uh, in fact, all my life I have worked in the university from 1988 to date. And having been a former head of department of this universe, in this university, a former dean of a college, a former dean of postgraduate studies, a former deputy vice chancellor of this university, I was equipped with the required uh, knowledge of the challenges of the university. And I had that zeal to train leaders produce leaders, not just graduates, but leaders. Having been equipped with all these experiences, I had no choice than to subject myself, uh, submit myself uh, during the time the advertisement was made. And uh, luckily, God heard my prayers, and I was selected as the best sufferer about nine or 11 candidates in that exercise. And precisely, I took over in the year 2011, first March to be precise. I'm believing on 28th of uh, February 2016, making it five years. If you look at far back as uh, 2011, first March to be precise, if you look at the structural landscape of the university, if you look at the human resource base of this university, if you look at the position of this university in terms of a ranking among Nigerian universities, you will see that we're almost there. In fact, uh, the, the, later, the last ranking of Nigerian university, this university was placed 29th out of more than 100 universities in the country. Today, people have known that this university is located in Abia State. No more the obscure period where people don't even, can't even locate this university in the world map. Today, this university is now boasting of more than 17,000 students or candidates itching to come and be students here. Before I came on board, the population of students who used to subscribe to this union was less than 4,000. But today we are talking of almost 18,000. Today, the quota of admission is now 4,000 plus. Previously it used to be 1,250. So, we're already there. You can see the time hostels, the, the, the generator sets, the, the classroom infrastructure, the laboratories, the vehicles for these, the OMR machine, the radio uh, station. And you can see how many PID holders we have produced or um, attracted professors. At least this university has no less than uh, more than uh, 100 professors now, unlike before. So these are the uh, areas we have done, uh, shown our uh, uh, improvement and as such uh, places that uh, uh, areas that are worth uh, commending. To appreciate the landmark contributions of Professor Odoga's administration to the rapid growth and development of the university, it is necessary to go down the memory lane of the state of structure in Muayu when he came into saddle of leadership.
With this state of things, this focused administrator and change agent per excellence has in the last five years tremendously and positively changed the face, body and soul of Moayu to the admiration of all. For instance, comparative analysis of his achievements with the previous VCs in the area of students' welfare, Professor Edogar undertook a monumental effort at bettering the lots of the students in the area of hostel accommodation, construction of large lecture and examination halls, furnished the classrooms with modern seats, equipped the laboratories to high standard, and generally set in the university environment to be conducive for learning.